Welcome to the Diffy project, that's the visual regression testing tool, and let me show you how it works. So once you register, registered, you will get to your dashboard, and the first step is of course to create your first project. So let's get started. I have created a test website for you. Um, so there is a site called Booster, Diffy website. If you have staging environment, what I would recommend is that you start comparing it with your production right away. So what we can do here, by the way, it's HTTP, HTTP, uh, stage, booster, Diffy website. This one is protected with basic authentication, basic auth. We can check if it works. Um, it will not work with wrong credentials. And next step, it will scan your front page of the production environment. In this particular example, it doesn't have any internal links. If there are any, you would be able to see them here. Also, if you have prepared list of links, you can simply paste it in the text area mode. So the next step is we're finished. So now it will create the three jobs one is to two of them to create screenshots, another one will compare them. Uh, while this work is in progress, you can see it's already created one of the screenshots. Um, let me walk you through the settings of the project. So you can see all your environments. You have out of the box three of them. Also you can select the breakpoints you would like your website to be checked at. Um, you can set up monitoring. For example, you would like to do this checks every week. Um, next thing is that you can edit list of your pages. You can authenticate the user. So if you have a website that has authenticated users and some interfaces hidden from anonymous, you can bypass it. Um, you have your team settings. If you have multiple colleagues working on the project, um, you have a lot of advanced things, more like if you have some animation, you can disable it. Um, if you need to identify your uh, bots with Google Analytics, you can do that. So a lot of different interesting settings. Um, modify is one of the most important ones. So if, for example, you have um, rotating banners or Google ads or any other type of ads that you would like to remove from your screenshots, you can do it here using isolation. Um, this will mean that you can only cut piece of the screenshot, or you can just mask or completely remove some elements like ads. And also a couple of settings regarding the notifications. You can set up additional emails that notifications will be sent, or you can set up um, Slack integration, for example, or webhook. Uh, this is the one that will be used for, uh, for example, continuous integration setup. Okay, uh, let's see if oh, all the jobs completed. So now we can see either we can see a report online or we can download archive locally. Let's look what we have online. So you can see that there are some changes over here and I intentionally changed the text and the layout. So let me show it to you. Okay, let's hit it. And now we can compare our production environment with the staging. So you can see that we intentionally changed the layout a little bit. So all the content moved up on staging. Another important thing for you to notice is that we have built custom algorithms for comparing images. So here we highlight only the section that has changed and it, it can recognize the shift. Uh, also you can see the default pixel perfect comparison. And you can see it, it's slightly less informative, let's put it in this way. All right, I think this should be good for you to get started. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.